I got a saying on one of my tapes, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Let your reasons get you back up. You've been an underdog in your relationships. If you've been an underdog in the weight room, if you've been an underdog in life, if you've been an underdog financially, I'm talking to that person who grew up without a father. I'm talking to that person who grew up without a mother. I'm talking to that person who didn't grow up with handouts. I'm talking to that person who maybe if you did grow up with a little bit of handouts, but maybe you were misunderstood and you were overlooked and you were undervalued and you were mishandled and misguided. It's very important as you hold on to that dream. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. It's very important for you to know that. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. You got a dream to buy a house. You got a dream for better relationships. You got a dream to win a fight. You got a dream to get your family out of the hood. You got a dream to lose weight. I mean, whatever that dream is, whatever you have, that goal, that improbable feat. Once you get it set, once you smell that, once you get a feel for it, a taste of it. And, and the underdog is, is an individual who, who refuses to live in the dark. They refuse to remain in obscurity. They refuse to live in stress and overwhelm and anxiety. They are somebody who is tired. Like when you come to the end of yourself, you gotta get tired. Like you have to get tired. Tired. Something inside of you that's a snap. You gotta get tired of being broke. Why do you want to work out? What is your goal? The most important thing is that you have a vision. That you have a goal. Because without that vision and without that goal, again, you're drifting around and you're never gonna end up anywhere. People don't become successful just by accident. You know, I mean, maybe the guy uh, that found gold in California and started the gold rush, but don't count on that. That's a one in a, in a lifetime kind of a situation. So you got to really have a specific goal. And to me, to have that vision that I want to be Mr. Universe. When you get tired of being coined the loser, being coined not enough, being overlooked and undervalued and underpaid, you got to get tired of that. When you get tired, that's when you win. The underdog is a person that comes out on the playing field and says, okay, I've been in this place of pain my whole life. I've gone without for so long. This is the day you make up in your mind where I will take the throne. I'm talking to that person that is acquainted with pain. I'm talking to that person that knows what it's like to come from nothing. And so you literally have nothing to lose. And the only thing that's in your hand is a dream. The only thing that's in your head is I have what it takes to get to the top of that hill because I am not the wolf on the hill. I am the wolf climbing the hill. I have nothing to lose. Count it out. Overlooked, undervalued, misguided, betrayed. Somebody who has been really dishonored, disrespected. Somebody who has lost everything who people stop believing in is a very desperate person. They're climbing a hill. They're trying to achieve a dream. And when you are desperate, you are very dangerous. And a dangerous man or woman is somebody who is a disruptor. They don't play by the rules. They are coming for blood. Your story is not your fortress. Your story is your fuel. When you doubt the underdog, it's like music to his ears. Tell me I'm not good enough. Tell me I'm not strong enough. Tell me I won't finish. There is this intrinsic emotion, this instinct. You have just awakened the lion in me because they said you can't do it. They said you don't have what it takes to make the investments. They said you don't have what it takes to lose the weight. They said you don't have what it takes to hang on to your marriage. Everybody has been counting out. Everybody has been doubted. The underdog is not a person who doesn't feel pain, doubt, and fear. The underdog is a person that turns that pain, that doubt, that fear into their fuel. If you came from a place where you had nothing, that's everything that you need. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. Okay, everybody wants a piece of the pie. In any facet of life, in every arena you walk in, there's pie. And the, the thing is, is that that pie doesn't get any bigger. The pie never gets any bigger. 
It's the disciplined, desperate, dangerous mentality of an individual that says, I'm gonna push whoever I gotta push out of my way to get my piece of the pie. Those are the people that get the pie. Because the pie doesn't get any bigger and the pie does not pursue you. You have to go after it. So whatever it is that you're going after, whatever it is you feel as though you've been destined to do, are you willing to push whoever, whatever out of your way to get your piece of the pie? And so if you're listening to me right now and there's anything in your life that is defeating you, if there's anything in your life that seems like an improbable feat, you gotta smell blood. Once you get that scent like a hound dog, you get that scent. You see what is possible, you see what you are capable of. In the face of adversity, in the face of challenges, in the face of everybody that says you are not enough, you're not tall enough, you're not big enough, you're not wide enough, you're not fast enough, it's in that very moment that the dreams gotta get bigger than the disappointment, than the fear, than the anxiety, than the stress, than the overwhelm. It's gotta get bigger, the dream. Once that dream gets bigger and you get a scent for that dream, you start to smell that dream, there's nothing on planet Earth that can stop you. You become armed and dangerous. You are the most dangerous individual on planet Earth. And so an underdog is just somebody who refused to live in the setback. It is a person who rebels against your reality. Your reality of me is that I'm not enough. Your reality of me is that I'm not qualified. Your reality of me is that I'm not quick enough. I'm not fast enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not linear enough. This is your reality. My reality of me is that all I have is all I need. I'm coming after everything you said I couldn't have. If you're gonna come back from the setback, the number one thing you have to do is make up your mind that you are no longer going to live in the pain of the past. Pain is inevitable and it is unavoidable. And when we talk about this underdog mentality, the underdog is just a man or a woman who has made up their mind. They are no longer going to live in their setbacks. They are no longer going to live in your reality. Your reality of me says I'm not enough. Your reality of me says I can't do this. Your reality of me says you won't finish today. My reality says all I have is all I need. I'm not living in my setback any longer. I'm moving forward. When we talk about a dog mentality, the dog scrambles, the dog walks, the dog runs after whatever it walks. When a dog is hungry, move out of his way. Because it's coming for blood. And the reason why you don't have what you want is because you are not hungry enough. You are going to have to push, 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 push. Nine times out of ten, the underdog always comes out with the win because the underdog was more hungry. The wolf that is on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf that is climbing the hill. The underdog is still trying to prove himself. The underdog is still trying to tell the world, I can do this. And the underdog is, is an individual who refuses to live in the dark. I got a saying on one of my tapes, this life knocks you down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Let your reasons get you back up.